you doing here? Good morning. I work here. You're supposed to be off duty today until afternoon. So? My home wasn't conducive enough, so I had to run away. And the only place I could think of running to was work. What happened? My mom arrived yesterday, and since then she has been stopping me about boyfriend issue. Simply because my younger sister just got engaged last month. And she, I avoided her throughout yesterday, and this morning I had to run away before she wakes up with her numerous questions again. For how long are you going to continue avoiding and running from her? For as long as she keeps disturbing me about bringing a man home. I don't have time for men and their troubles. I want to face my career squarely. Miss Abigail, having a serious relationship that can lead to marriage is one of the most important things we are here on earth to achieve. The earlier you accept that fact, the better. I ran away from home because I didn't want to talk about this issue, so please don't make me run away from here as well. Sorry. Um, has Nastiti resumed? No. All right then. Here. I'm here to continue the discussion you avoided throughout yesterday. Mom, this is my place of work. We can't talk here. And why did you allow us to talk at home then? Mom, I thought I told you yesterday that I'll be off duty this morning. How do you now be here? Where else will you be? People like you don't have too many places to hide. Okay, Mom. You can go home. As soon as I'm done, I'll come see you. You said that several times and you never came. You've been avoiding me. I'm here now, so we must talk. Mom, the truth is, I don't want to talk about what you want us to discuss. And I'm busy, I have to go in now. Come back here. Mom. Abigail. Ma? You know what I'm capable of doing. I don't want to constitute a nuisance here. Oh, Mom, I'm busy. When will you be less busy? And that will be when I'm ready for break and it's in the next three hours. Okay. Until I'm less busy. Mom, you can't do this. I have patients to attend to and we can't talk here. You leave me no choice. You've been avoiding me. So I really want to know what the problem is. You can go back to your job. I'll sit down here and wait for you until you have my time. Yes, Abigail. I hope there's no problem. This is my mom. Oh, good morning, Ma. <laughs> good morning, dear. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Very well, thank you. Do you have a boyfriend? Um, I do have a fiance. Abigail here is 26 years old and doesn't even have a boyfriend. I want to really know what her problem is. Her younger sister is 24 years old and just got engaged last week. Okay, mom. Okay. This is a clinic. You can't shout here. Okay. Let me go in and attend to my patients and we'll come out and we can talk about this quietly. Okay? Okay. Good. Can't stay here, you know, for what? What's the problem? No, no problem. I just don't feel like staying at the reception. Ah, what's your problem? And you are not saying the correct. Why you not want to come full and stay for the reception? There's someone I'm avoiding at the reception. Ah, who be the person? It's none of your business. Continue with your cleaning, and if the docs or any of the nurses need me, come get me. Okay. No, it hasn't, but Miss Abigail is inside. Miss Abigail? Mm -hmm. Ah, she's not supposed to be on duty this morning. Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> it's long story. The woman seated there is her mother. Are you serious? Yes. Is she ill or something? I'm not ill. I'm here to see my daughter, Abigail. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. It's nice meeting you. Um, I'm Nurse Abigail's colleague. My name is Titi. Okay, nice meeting you, Titi. Yes, um, <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, yes, ma. I do have a boyfriend. Good. My daughter, your colleague, is 26 years old and she doesn't have a boyfriend. Her younger sister is 24 years old and just got engaged last month. I don't know what her problem is, but I'm willing to find out. 
because that's the reason some women remain single for the rest of their lives, for their inability to make it while the sun shines. I'm not going to fold my arms and let her blame me in future for not advising her to do the right thing. Um, it's really nice to meet you, Ma. Nice meeting you too. Yeah. Now I know what Nostabi girl really took after. Let me go and change. Okay. Excuse me, Ma. I met your mom at the reception when I came in. She said she's here to see you. Let her keep waiting. I'm busy. I don't have time to see her for what she can't see me for. Uh -uh. You're sitting down here all alone doing nothing and you say you're busy. You should go and attend to your mom. I said I am busy. Her trouble is too much. She has been disturbing me with this boyfriend talk just because my younger sister just got engaged last month. Did she expect me to start hawking myself for boyfriend or what? But why not try and do what she wants? So, I should force myself into something because my mother wants me to do it. I wouldn't do that for anybody. It's my life. I wouldn't let anybody force me into something I'm not sure about. See, the way she spoke to me at the reception, she wants you to at least give a guy a chance. I haven't seen a guy I'm going to give a chance. I haven't. Okay, what about Raymond, the guy that works at the gym? Yeah. Raymond is a gym instructor. He doesn't have a good source of income to take care of me, so uh, he's not qualified. Mm. Okay, what about um, Kola? I mean, Felix's friend. The one you met when Felix was on admission here. At least he has a good job. Kola. Kola is a mommy's boy. He's always seeing one thing or the other about his mom. Everything, my mother. And you won't believe, we we're supposed to go on a date and he cancelled it because he wanted to go and see his mom. I can't date a mommy's boy. Forget it. Uh -huh. Okay, um, what about um, Daniel? Who is Daniel? The guy that was on admission here for some days and when he was discharged, he asked for your number. You told me you guys went on several dates afterwards. Oh, that one. I beg. He's too gentle for my liking. I need a man that can handle me. As in, he needs to take charge. Yeah. Abigail, do you know you're your own problem? You don't know what you want. I could go on and on about different guys who liked you, but you just keep having one problem or the other with them. What's Please. The can we stop talking about this? It's my life. When I find the right guy, I will know. Okay, 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 ma. No problem. But you just have to go and attend to your mom at the reception. You can't just keep her waiting indefinitely. She's your mom. I said let her wait. When she's tired, she'll leave. A big girl. What? I'm not sure about what exactly I feel. But I've been feeling funny in that area for some time. And I thought it's better I come for examination. It's a wise thing to do. Early detection goes a long way to reduce the damage of breast cancer. Once either Nostiti or Abigail is through with whatever they are doing, they will examine you and also teach you how to do the self-examination. Thank you, Sister Min. You're welcome. But there is another serious issue at hand. What could that be? My boyfriend is traveling out of the country and he might not be coming back to Nigeria. Why? His father is based in the States and he wants him to come join him over there. He told me so yesterday and I couldn't sleep all night. I just don't know what to think or do. That's a tough one. So what are you going to do about your relationship with him? That's the question I'm looking for answers to. Why didn't you ask him? Yes, he's suggesting we get engaged before he leaves and I can come join him over there when I'm done with school here. And what did you tell him? I told him I'm too young to get engaged now. I'm still in school and I'm not sure my parents will like the idea. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I overheard your conversation, but can I contribute? Um, actually, um, this is Nurse Abigail's mother. Yes, Ma, you can contribute. First and foremost, how old are you? I'm 22, Ma. 22 years? Do you love the guy in question? Very much, Ma. And he loves me too. But I'm thinking we are both too young to start planning of something serious together. Though he's in his finals, I still have a year to go. You're a lucky girl, getting an engagement proposal at 22. I have a daughter who is 26. She doesn't even have a boyfriend. And her younger sister is 24, two years older than you. And she got engaged last month. As long as you and the guy have a mutual understanding and know what you feel for each other, I'll advise that you tell your parents about it and make her while the sun shines. Because it's not every day that a lady 
gets an engagement proposal. Thank you very much, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. It's Clinic Matters. Clinic Matters. Keep watching. Thank you very much. I feel so relieved now that I know it's not breast cancer. Okay, but make sure you do some of the self-examinations yourself as you've been taught. I will. But most importantly, I wish to know what causes breast cancer so I can avoid it. Well, um, there are several researches going on to know what exactly causes breast cancer. But no one has been able to prove anything as a cause of breast cancer. But there are uncertain and unproven risk factors linked to the disease. What do you mean by risk factors? Risk factor is something that affects your chances of getting a disease such as breast cancer. And some of these factors are um, diet and vitamins intake, breast implants, tobacco smoking, pollution, abortion, and even the kind of bras worn by women. But none of these factors have been proven to be the cause of breast cancer. These factors mentioned by Nastiti are factors that can be controlled. And there's some risk factors that cannot be controlled, such as gender. Men also suffer from breast cancer, but Breast cancer is 100 times more common in women than men. And we also have another factor, which is the age factor. The chances of getting breast cancer increase in women as they get older. Yeah? About two out of three women with invasive breast cancer are 55 or older when the cancer has been found. Yes, and um, family history is another unproven risk factor. You see, breast cancer risk is very common among women whose close blood relatives have the disease. But I think it should be either from the father's side or from the mother's side of the family. And it is more important to know that these women who have this disease do not have a family history of the disease. Interesting. So, what is or are the treatments for a breast cancer patient? We have surgical operation. Yes, there's radiation therapy chemotherapy or hemotherapy. There's also complementary and alternative therapy. I'm feeling like a nurse myself with all you just told me now. Thank you very much. I have to take my leave now. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Take care of yourself. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, happy girl. Your mom is still at the reception waiting for you. I hope her wait now when she says she'll leave. Excuse me, is Abigail still busy inside? Yeah, no, no. Nana, stay in the city, I see. Where they are 10 to percent inside just now. You be patient. No, I'm Abigail's mother. Ah, hey, you be Nasabi, mama. Ah, well, now you're not know. Ah, it's good to see you. Where the ma? And my own name na Billy Kisu Suraju. And I may be the chief head cleaner for this hospital. I noticed. Hmm, eh, Nasabi for don't come out since so. Eh, the time where I go, eh, mop. But she be say, you get one person wasted their food. And I make her never come out. But me and I can't know the person wasted their food. Okay, where is she right now? And she goes still there the room where I live from. When I go more. Nasabi, your mama don't come. See your mama. Biliki, are you silly? Get out of here! Get out! I said get out! I'm first, oh. Mom, you can't come in here. I'm busy. I can see you're busy doing nothing. But let me make this as simple as possible. When will you start exploring the possibilities of matrimony? Mom, I don't have time for men and their troubles. I don't see how that's a problem. Are you a lesbian? No, I'm not. You don't have time for men at 26. Then when will you start having time for men at 50? Mom, when I find the right person, I promise you'll be the first to know. How can you find the right person? when you always find fault in every man that comes your way. I suspected you have this problem when, while you were still in nursing school. Remember, when I asked you the qualities of your dream man you were looking forward to, you mentioned over 20 qualities. And I said you must be looking forward to marrying an angel. And apparently I was right. Mom, since when did taking my time to settle for the best become a crime? Abigail, you want a man that is caring Loving, good looking, wealthy, patient, polite, 
and trustworthy, etc. All of this in one man. <laughs> you better cut down on your list. If not, you remain single forever. Mom, you don't expect me to settle for less. If I finally get married because you want me to and I realize it's not the right person for me, I'll end up becoming a divorcee. And I'm scared of being a divorcee than remaining a single lady for a long time. If you continue like this, you become an old single lady who is overdue for marriage. And a divorcee is better than an old single lady who is overdue for marriage. No. An old single lady is better than a divorcee who probably has two or more kids already. A single lady has clean records, but a divorcee is more or less like a fairly used. No. A divorcee has proven herself to be a wife material because she has gotten married. But an old single lady who is overdue for marriage, men will assume that probably there is something wrong with you while you're single. Mom, you're a Christian and you don't believe in the word divorce. So how come you prefer a divorcee to a single lady now? Well, once I find the right person, I'll let you know. Hmm. When will that be? How will I know? <laughs> he is the one that will find me, not the other way around. Remember the same Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So he'll be the one to find me. Huh? Pastor, a big girl. You have to position yourself to be findable, if there's any word like that. Here you are, Ma. I yeah. thought you've left as I need to you at the reception. No, I'm about to leave. Yeah. A big girl, ensure you get the man on time. Or else, I'll get him myself. Bye. Bye-bye, uh, Ma. Bye. <sighs> Her trouble is too much. Let's have a go. I think I have a guy that's a perfect match for you. Mm -hmm. He's rich, he's cute, calm, polite, decent and stable. Maybe I should introduce you to him. If he has all the qualities you just mentioned, I could give him a try. Yeah, just that um, the only bot there is, is not on the tall side. And I know you like tall guys. Huh? He's short? No, not that short. Um, say about four feet. Pfft, don't bother. He's not my type. At least you should see him first. A four feet can't do it for me. Can't you see how tall I am? I don't want people to mistake my boyfriend for my younger brother. When I find Mr. Wright, I would know. Thank you.